Welcome back. We have a special guest today who's getting honored for his excellence in journalism. The Detroit Free Press, Stephen Henderson, is getting a prestigious award from the Scripps Howard Foundation. He's being recognized for bringing his unique perspective to major issues last year through a series of historical narratives and for making a difference. Stephen is here now to talk about the honor, and then he's off to our parent company in Cincinnati to accept the award yeah, tonight. Right, so good to have you with us. Absolutely. T good talk nice about what this means to you. Uh, well, I mean, it's always nice to be honored, uh, especially by your colleagues. Uh, that means a lot. But but for me, uh, these are always about just sort of recognition of how spoiled I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm a journalist who gets to write about uh, the things I care about yeah. in the city where I'm from, advocate for the things I think uh, will help Detroit and Michigan. It's a really rare space to, to exist in, in in journalism right now, and I'm really, really grateful every day that I get to do Isn't it. Isn't that neat? I yeah. want to read what Scripps Howard Foundation said about you here, okay? He says, he fashioned powerful arguments about issues that range from the presidential election to police shootings of black citizens to the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. He excavated connections between personal and public history as he began work to revitalize the Detroit neighborhood where he was born and raised. That, those are some nice yeah, nice words yeah. there, right? And it's a reminder of how busy a year we had last year, too, right? I guess the Flint so. water crisis, the uh, presidential election, uh, the police shootings. I mean, yeah. there's a lot that happened in 12 months. But look ahead to the next 12 months. Where do you see us going? Where do you see some of your columns taking you? You probably don't know, of course, until some of these yeah, things right? happen. Yeah, right. If you asked me are last are year, I wouldn't have said all of those oh, then, things. Yeah, of but, course. Uh, but certainly I'm focusing a lot now on this project over on the west side of yes. uh, Detroit, the Tuxedo Project. Tuxedo's the street I was born and raised on. We are redoing the house there. It's going to become a literary center and writer's residence. We're now working on the other houses on the block, taking four or five of them to demo them or renovate them. That's the work that we're all really called to do right now, I think, in the city is find out where uh, where we can pitch in yeah. as individuals to make a difference in the city as a whole. So you've been writing in the city for a long time now. Yeah. I mean, what a change we have seen <laughs> yeah. in different the city. different place, right? Isn't it? Yeah. A totally yeah. different place than when I was a kid, but also just a different place from 10 years ago. Uh, I remember when I got back in 07, uh, walking around one Sunday downtown and some fans from Chicago, Lion, uh, Bears fans, asked me where to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> and I had to sit and think about yeah. where they could do that because there weren't that many choices. And Stephen, now look Today, behind us. Yeah, right. right? Uh, you find a million places to find yeah. a cup of coffee. So, uh, I mean, that's just one of the, the signs of real Well, we, we thank you for the work you do, yeah, certainly. No, absolutely. And, I love it. you know, it, it's great. <laughs> and keep it up. And congratulations to you. You can absolutely. watch Stephen and all the other great journalists. I think there's 16 different categories. Yes. People being awarded here. You can watch them accept their honors tomorrow night, Wednesday, April 12th. We'll have a special show on the Scripps Howard Awards ceremony tomorrow at 7 p.m. only on WXYZ.com. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thanks, Thank Stephen. you.